job. You see how amazing the scholars are here at Stevenson? Thank you. So welcome to our Black History program. I bring you greetings from our superintendent, Dr. Jennifer Martin Green, and our Board of Education members. For those of you that don't know me, I am Tanya Hickman. I am the principal of this amazing learning community. Our assistant administrator is Mr. Stephon Thompson. Oh, he's in the back. Everybody know him as coach if you've been in Southfield for a long time. That is Coach Thompson, as we affectionately call him around here. Today, the theme of our program is We Live the Dream, and it is under the direction of the amazing Mrs. Gugmacher. So sit back and enjoy. We also are featuring some businesses out in our lobby. We will give you more information about the businesses that we have in our lobby. So sit back and enjoy, and I'll turn the mic over. All right, thank you, and welcome. Good afternoon. We are very excited to um, showcase our younger kids right here, first graders and of course the kinder kindergartners, and then the fourth grade group. They're amazing, hardworking kids, and very hard to make sure that the program will come out just fine and beautiful and perfect because that's what we are here at Stevenson. We are all about quality in every aspect. I would like, on behalf of all the performers myself, I would like to thank the entire staff of Stevenson because here we're working as a well-oiled well machine. I mean, every single thing is done beautifully with a lot of taste and a lot of passion because it comes from the heart. And I'd like to thank all of the teachers, our administration, Mrs. Hickman, Mr. S Mr. Thompson, our wonderful secretaries because they put together the scripts for us and the, and the beautiful programs that you're holding, and um, specifically Mrs. Pacini for beautiful art and around the school and of course the kids who produce that wonderful um, art that you around. <laughs> and the mic, of course, right? Um, Mr. Ron Sellett, who put the uh, you know, sound system together. Um, I'm just trying to make sure that I will thank everybody. Um, and of course, um, all of the students, because as I said, they work diligently and with passion, and I am sure that you will enjoy the program immensely. So at this time, without further ado, I will ask this group to please stand up. We're going to do it in steps, and then we will start the program. Thank you. Thank you. 
to start our program, to open our program, was lift every voice and sing. And you would like to do that. Um, I would like to bring here our soloist, Autumn Webb, and she will lead us in singing this song.
It is the sound of a powerful train. No ordinary train is this that is chugging along the iron rails of my dreams. It is an engine racing downhill and picking up energy from every person's dream and hope for freedom for all. There is room for all on this powerful train. So get on board for this is the train of freedom. He later witnessed a crash, oh no, a horse draw a carriage and a car and realized that problems across streets have really gone too far. So he developed a traffic signal that could be seen day and night. Garrett Morgan was the father of our red, yellow, green traffic light.
but he couldn't go to college because his funds were lean. He had a thirst for knowledge, so he became self-taught. He read and he questioned and he learned what he ought. He was given a pocket watch, which fascinated him. So he took it apart to examine it from rim to rim. Then he carved a clock of wood that had an hourly chime. It was the first man in America to keep accurate time. He, drew, he also drew street plans for Washington, D.C. Yes, Benjamin Banneker had a place in our history.
exactly 60 years ago, the world heard famous words spoken by the leader of the civil rights movement, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I have a dream that our children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Martin Luther King Jr. had a dream. We do too. We want people to be free to say what they believe, free to live in peace, to go where they want to, to have enough for themselves and their children. People all over the world feel the same, and all over the world people dreaming of freedom have sung the same song. We shall overcome. We, we shall, shall overcome. overcome.
We are making a difference. And lead us to a better future. We shall over I mean think for freedom. Sing for freedom. Of course, we have the best partner 
the most committed to partner to Stevenson People Driven Credit Union out in the lobby as well. When we return to school next week, we are asking for all of our scholars to wear green, to wear Michigan State colors as they transition back to campus. And so we stand in solidarity for Michigan State. If you are a Spartan, stand up. All right, let's give it up for those Spartans. All right, go green. Um, and shout out to my daughter who unfortunately experienced that in the back. Raise your hand, Destiny. That's my baby. She's here celebrating with us today. So Monday the 27th, when we return to school, we stand in solidarity with our Spartans. We will rock this house green. We will paint the walls green on Monday. Mrs. Guttmacher, there are just not enough words in the English, excuse me, scholars, I'm hearing some talking. Excuse me, you know the rules. We have a special presentation from Mrs. Guttmacher, who has put in countless hours to make our students mosaic ready. These kids are ready to take their show on the road. So I'm gonna pass the microphone over to Mrs. Moorhead. Let's give it up one more time for Mrs. G. Thank you, my absolute pleasure. Oh, oh. <laughs> This is my baby right here, y'all. <laughs> Can we once again give it up for our amazing scholars? <laughs> We've been practicing nonstop, and I hope it shows. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, just one last word. In the words of Ms. Bush, Ms. Bush tells me this almost every single day, even when we're not in school. Ms. Hickman, great things are happening at Stevenson. And so I tell you, and you already know, great things are truly happening here. We will have our makerspace room open for you to do a tour. Mrs. Sasha Jones is going to have that space open. If you want to tour our makerspace room, United Way funded that room and it is absolutely amazing. There is no K-5 building in Oakland County with a room like that. So please stop by room 117 just to see what is on the horizon for our scholars. And with that being said, that's all I have. Okay, here I'm gonna turn the microphone over. You. Thank you very much, and thank you for the support of the community, specifically of the parents and families of Stevenson. Please, um, students, why don't you give a round of applause for this wonderful audience, your families and your parents. Thank you so very much. Thank you for your ongoing support. Without you, we are, we are not able to do anything, so thank you. Let me please acknowledge some um, wonderful students who are my speakers who were just moving the program along. Please give them a round of applause. Sandra, take it out. Take it out. Those are the fifth graders. We are getting ready for a wonderful graduation. They're just amazing. Thank you guys. Great, great job. All right, please go back. Let me acknowledge my soloists who put so much work into their wonderful, wonderful performance. So all of the soloists, please come forward. All right, thank you. They just, they're, they're blessed with wonderful voices and they're very hardworking children. So thank you very much. Take a bow. Hey, there you go. Hey. Okay, please go back. And then we have some new um, position, so to speak, the assistants of the director, and so you see them, you saw them conducting actually, isn't that something? So please, my assistants, please come forward and take a bow. Woo! All right. Well, I'll start, I'll start sharing my salary. You know, they're doing their job so well. Thank you guys, thank you very much. All right, well, all around wonderful performance. And again, let's hear it for our wonderful, wonderful fourth graders, such a strong, talented kid. Give yourself a round of applause, you guys did a wonderful job. Thank you. Let's hear it for our fantastic first grade group. And then of 
course, last but definitely not least, the most adorable part of Stevenson. Let's hear it for Let's hear it for the staff of Stevenson who helped us throughout our rehearsals and sometimes they're too long, but they were very big. So thank you very much. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. And of course, our special thank you for our administration, our wonderful Mrs. Hickman. Without her, with her leadership, the most wonderful things are happening here at Stevenson. We're all supporting her and we're all very happy to be here. Thank you very much.